Hello everyone and welcome to Global Consilient Research. This is an entire new course on fundamental analysis from beginning. This course will teach you every single thing that you need to know about fundamental analysis, whether you are a beginner or maybe you are a CFA charter holder. And you do not have to waste your time reading all of these books. Just follow this course from start to finish and do the homework as I give you. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Hello everyone and welcome to Global Consilient Research. This is a brand new course on fundamental analysis, right? So before we begin this session, let me tell you one thing. This entire session is going to be on only in English. So if you are one of those audience which do not understand English uh, really well, then I would suggest you please watch the Hindi course. Hindi course is for you. This course is solely for my English listening audience, right? If you are from US or any other country or any other part of the world, please watch this entire session. This entire session will be completely, English, completely in English. So session number one, we are going to see an overview of the entire course, overview of the entire playlist of this session. What we are going to learn, why we are going to learn it. I'll explain it to you in simple English language and there will be no jargon used over here, right? So first of all, let's see what exactly is fundamental analysis. Now, if you have seen my previous reports on previous uh, videos on equity research valuation, you will understand that I always take the use of case studies, right? So we are going to be looking at several case studies in fundamental analysis course so that you can have a greater and practical understanding of the uh, process involved. So first of all, let's understand what exactly is fundamental analysis and what is the essence of the thing. Now, now first of all, you need to do is you need to think like an investor. Now, if you are a day trader, if you are a FNO trader or if you are a momentum trader or anything related to trading, buying and selling, quickly getting in and getting out of the market, this session is not for you guys. If you are someone who is doing, let's say, dollar cost averaging, right? Dollar cost averaging, we also call it SIP in India, right? So you need to be an investor and you need to think like an investor to be able to grasp more and more concept of this entire course and to extract more and more value from this entire session, right? So here are the points we will be covering in this entire session. And let me tell you one thing, this session will not be so long. This entire playlist will be only of consist of, or consist of around 15 videos. Right. So first of all, what we are going to learn is what is it? What exactly is fundamental analysis? Why we do it? How to do it? Right. Why we do the fundamental analysis and how to make sure that we keep the main agenda, right? The main agenda of any fundamental analysis to make the economic decision and not the other way around. Right. So we will learn what exactly is fundamental analysis, how to conduct it. Second thing. We will compare two main philosophies or two main methods to make money in the market. One is your technical analysis and the second one is your fundamental analysis. We will do a good differentiation between the technical aspects of investing and the fundamental analysis aspect of investing. And this course will be solely focused on fundamental. Yes, I will give you some good introduction to technical analysis, why we do it and whether or not it is applicable to today's market or not. And what are the pros and cons of doing the fundamental analysis as well, right? Third point, how to, this is one of the biggest problem solving material you will find in this entire course, how to conduct fundamental analysis, how to conduct ratio analysis. And let me tell you guys one more thing. We will not be doing any theoretical PPT, PPT stuff and we will not be doing any boring random jargons and random definition. We will see real companies in the real markets and we will see some real case studies in the real markets. Fourth, fundamental analysis report. By the time you are finished with this entire course, you will be able to make fundamental analysis report of any company in this world. And yes, you will be able to make any, uh, you will be able to analyze all sorts of companies when I say, right? We will be looking at companies listed in USA. We will be looking at companies listed in UK and maybe some companies listed in India, right? So these are the three main markets that I'll be covering. Now, if you are from somewhere from, let's say, from South African region, we might not cover those companies, but we will cover those companies which are quite famous around the world. Maybe we'll pick Microsoft from USA and maybe Apple or maybe Infosys or TCS from any uh, from India, right? But overall, you are going to learn the entire process of fundamental analysis through this course. So let's see in the PPT and I'll share my Excel sheet with you as well in the next video. So see you there. Hello everyone. And let's begin with the fundamental analysis code. This entire thing is going to be in English. So if you are a Hindi audience, please do not watch this thing. If you are unable to understand English, then please do not watch this entire playlist because this is solely for my English speaking audience, right? Because we are in video, right? So as you have already seen in the previous session, in the previous video, in the previous part of this video, that we, what we are going to learn, what's the essence of 
fundamental analysis. Now, I'm going to explain to you in details about what this entire thing is going to be and what we are going to learn. I will try my level best to keep this around 12 to 15 lessons only so that you, your attention span stays within the, uh, whatever limits you have, maybe you have a higher attention span, maybe you have a lower attention span, but I will try my level best to complete this entire council in 12 to 15 videos. So what we are going to learn, the intro to fundamental analysis, understanding financial statements, the next session is going to be how to connect the dots around the financial statements. I will explain to you in easiest and simplest words possible, right? Obviously, I cannot go way too easy because, because you do need some accounting knowledge and some basic understanding of financial statements, what they are, how to analyze them, right? You need some basic knowledge to understand it in depth, right? And then we are going to see key financial ratios for stock analysis. And we are going to pick one single sector to analyze the sectoral ratio that we can pick. Types of industries we have, and then we will learn Warren Buffett methods, how he used to pick stocks and how he picks stocks now, right? Because there is a world of difference between the two. QGLP and G GCR factor profile. Now GCR factor profile is my own proprietary way of picking stocks. I will teach it to you. How to use screener to find stronger stocks. Now, obviously, if you are a foreigner, if you are studying from Pakistan or maybe any other country apart from India, you are going to find some difficulty in using screener because screener might not be available in your country. Now, to solve that problem, we are going to do the entire analysis on ticker terminal, right? Now, the thing is, ticker terminal is a paid platform, right? You cannot just access all of the features for free, but certain US stocks are available, which are, which can, which you can access the data for free, right? Because we are going to use the ticker terminal. And it costs somewhere around $20 a month, right? So if you cannot invest $20 a month in this, then I'm so sorry to say you are not going to learn. Then mode analysis, types of industry valuation, and last but not the least, fundamental analysis report. That is we are going to cover, right? So let's move forward with what we have around this, okay? Points to follow, so make sure you follow these points and please pay close attention to whatever I'm going to speak or whatever I'm going to teach, right? So please make sure you keep your phone away and do this as, as I give you, right? So let me just explain in detail once and for all what exactly is fundamental analysis, right? It is simply a method used by investors to study a company's financial health. Now, when I say financial health, you need to have a great understanding around basics of accounting, right? Basics of accounting. And you need to have a good understanding of what are financial statements. You need to know the line items of the financial statements so that you can have a great understanding of how to interpret those numbers, how to make sense of those numbers. Now, if a particular metric is going up and up and up, what it means for the entire, all the three financial statements, business performance and growth potential before deciding to invest in a stock. Now, I am just assuming that you are simply a retail investor trying to invest some of your surplus capital in the market, in particular capital markets, right? Now I'm just assuming it. Now you might be thinking, Fish, how do I get a job in this? Now to get a job in equity capital markets nowadays, it requires a, a specialized education. It requires professional education like CA, CSA, MBA, right? If you're from India and if you're from uh, outside India, now I'm assuming if you're watching this, you are from outside India, your chances of getting a job in the capital markets gets many fold up if you pursue an MBA in finance, right? So instead of focusing on short-term price movement, a fundamental analyst typically looks at how strong and profitable a company is over the long run, right? This is what we are going to learn, how to analyze this. Now, I'm not saying that I will teach you based on the historical past performance of the company, right? I'm not saying that, that historical performance will be the key thing ever, but I want to predict. I want to forecast the number. I want to create a mechanism through which I can say about this is the company that and it is going to perform so well in the future based on the analysis that I have done. And this is something that you need to keep this keep in your mind that fundamental analyst wants to see what is going to happen in the future with a certain amount of probability. Now, I'm not saying that if you learn this course or any other course, you are going to forecast it with utmost precision, right? Because let me tell you one thing, precision in finance is a buzzword. It does not exist. Precision does not exist in finance. Only probabilities are there. If anyone or if you get a guaranteed return scheme now, then you have been scammed. There is no such thing as guaranteed precision, precise numbers, right? Or forecasting, predicting, right? It's all about probabilities and we are going to learn probability. And that is the reason you will see that CFA syllabus has an entire subject on the quantitative method. Here you learn the advanced probabilities, right? That how to predict the probabilities of a certain event happening. And that is the reason you see why finance is such a elusive subject, right? Because every single thing is about probabilities over here and not precision. So think in terms of probabilities, 
that is the first step in being a good fundamental analyst income statement balance sheet and cash flow statement these are your main three financial statements right we have your statement of comprehensive income as well but that is not an important part of this course right we are going to learn how to actually connect the dots around three financial statements and how to make sure that we do not make any mistake when analyzing them this is the main thing of this course now let's talk about one of the biggest mutual fund managers one of the most successful mutual fund managers entire world has ever seen his name is mr peter lynch now if you are keen about learning more about his philosophy then i would recommend one book of his which is one upon wall street one of the finest book one upon wall street right this is one of the best books you can read on fundamental analysis when you buy stock you are basically buying a business right you are simply buying a piece of a company it becomes importantly crucial for you to understand that what the underlying business and company does and we are going to learn it right Right, so do not worry about anything. Just stick with me. Right, this session is going to be a bit theoretical, but I understand. But we need to stick with me. Right, Buffett on buying stocks once again. Buffett is also keep on saying the same thing that you need to analyze the business like a business analyst and not a security analyst. Right, essence of fundamental analysis. See, the only thing that you need to be good at to analyze a fundamental, uh, analyze a stock as a fundamental analysis. Once your one is your quantitative. Analysis and the other one is your qualitative analysis, which comes your under your moat analysis and your management analysis. We are going to learn that, right? Quantitative, I will cover. Qualitative is something which is highly subjective in nature. Even though I will teach you how to analyze a company qualitatively, but let me tell you one thing: you are going to face circumstances, you are going to see the company sector where your own judgment will be at stake. Your own judgment will create the results that you are seeking. So. It is something which is highly subjective, and I cannot teach you. I cannot give you a shortcut hack or a formula, right? It does not work that way. So make sure whatever you are going to do, practice it. Whether you learn it from me or someone else, please practice what you are going to learn, right? Most investors look for cheap stocks, right? This is something I have always seen. Every single retail investor is after low PE ratio, low price to book ratio. They think it's a cheap stock, and it will a value investing. They clearly think that. What they do not understand is buying a strong business at a fair price often delivers better long term returns than a weak business at a deep discount. And how to identify such businesses? That is what we are going to learn in this course. So make sure you stick with me and understand the difference between a quality stock versus a poor quality stock versus a value investing stock versus a value trap stock. Right. So make sure you follow the lesson and you make sure you download the sheet and download all the materials related to this course. And please make sure you join the Telegram group we have, right? And I'll see you in the next session. That is it, folks, for this session. Signing off. Thank you so much.